What's up, everybody, and welcome back to Joystick Ayrton. I am still waiting on my MSI claw because MSI has absolutely no idea how to launch a product. If you bought it from Newegg, maybe you were lucky and you got it a month ago. If you're overseas, you probably got it two months ago. If you bought it from Best Buy sometime in April, maybe. We'll see. Another disaster, Aspire and the Battlefront Classic Collection. So let's go ahead and dive on in. Okay, so today's video is going to be about the disastrous launch of the Star Wars Battlefront Collection Edition from Aspire, a company that tends to continue to do things that are incredibly shady, like this thing launched in about as good of a state as, well, Gollum, and that's about as bad as it can get. But before we get too far into this, I got a million things going on on the table here. The first thing I want to talk about is our first affiliate link sponsor, the Ivan Key Doc. This thing is awesome. I have an affiliate link in the comment section down below and the description of this video if you want to check them out. Huge shout out to them for sending this over, especially with us having such a small channel. We're going to do a full video just on the doc itself here on the channel as well. So if you want all the details, make sure you check that video out here in the near future. But this thing is awesome. It'll fit your Legion Go. It'll fit your ROG Ally, your Steam Deck, your Win4. Anything will fit in it with no issues. It has all the ports you could possibly need. I have a external 17 inch monitor here, a one handed Red Dragon keyboard, a wireless mouse. I'm trying to see if I can turn my Legion Go into a laptop replacement for hotel travel and things of that nature. And the Avanki dock is definitely a necessity for that. So check that out at the link in the description down below. And let's go ahead and dive on in. Okay, so plain and simple, Aspire Media is a joke. They've been a joke for a very long time, and they continue to be a joke, and they continue to provide us with an insane amount of evidence of why that company should be nowhere near any Star Wars license or any license of any game at all. But one last thing I want to tell you guys about, I do have the Anerbic RG556 uh, video coming very soon. I absolutely love this thing. This is my first retro handheld and I hope to learn a lot from the video. I hope to learn a lot from your feedback, um, and that's gonna be a really fun one. But back to the absolute disaster that has been this last week for Aspire and for Battlefront and for a lot of different people, Angry Joe losing his mind. This is a common thing for this company. They've been doing it for quite some time. There's actually a lawsuit over uh, Aspire Media for their handling of the Knights of the Old Republic 2 DLC on Switch. It was a nightmare. They promised something, they didn't deliver on it. And what did they take from it? They didn't even build it themselves. They didn't even take what Bioware left behind. They took a mod, tried to steal all of that mod, and then didn't ship it when they were getting caught for it. And that has been happening with the Battlefront 2 collection. The trailer, the gameplay, deep dives have been going into this and seeing that mods for the original games were used not only in the trailer, but in the development of the game. And this is just extremely disheartening considering the rhetoric that came from the company to begin with when this was a concern brought out by that modding community. Now, this has just been something they've been doing for quite some time. What does Aspire actually do? Well, they buy the license or pay for the license. They then take that old game, repackage it, and sell it to you like it's a piece of garbage from 2004. And a lot of those games play like 2004 games. I mean, we paid $40 for the Battlefront 2 collection or the Battlefront collection, and we got the games with 4K textures that didn't even look that good and the biggest buggy mess. And they paid for three servers that you and your two buddies at a LAN party could have afforded. And just what a nightmare. I don't understand how they keep getting these licenses. Um, it is one of the biggest blunders I've seen since Gollum, which was a colossal disaster that actually ended up leading to the closing of the studio behind Gollum. And I, I'm waiting slowly for Aspire to just crumble beneath itself. So you had the Knights of the Old Republic. I absolutely love those games. I think they're by far the best Star Wars games on the planet, and that's where they need to make movies because we're a TV show. Anything, the Knights of the Old Republic is amazing. Um, the first one was repackaged. It wasn't a buggy mess, but there was no improvement. There was nothing besides the fact that, hey, it runs on Switch. It runs pretty good at 780p. It upscales a little bit to 1080p if you're playing docked, but not really. Uh, and it was passable. 
<laughs> that was pretty much it. Knights of the Old Republic 2, pretty much the exact same way. They made a promise about the DLC. They tried to steal it from the modding community. When they were getting caught, they scrapped it. And that was pretty much it. Another disaster. Avoided just to save face. This time, didn't happen. They have been caught using not only the mods for the original games and trailers, but in the actual game. And they also can't explain why those two games that amass less than 10 gigs is like 70 gig download. It's really confusing. This isn't Call of Duty. This isn't Gears of War. This isn't Halo. This is a repackaged 2006, 2007 set of games. What is going on? I was so excited for this. I actually remember on Tuesday night telling my buddy, I really just hope I know this is a spire. I know this could be a nightmare. I really hope that's not what it comes to. So let's keep talking about this. So then Aspire has pretty much sat there in radio silence. They haven't apologized for anything. They didn't say anything. They just keep sending you ads and saying it'll get better. And maybe it'll get a little bit better, but it's not going to save anybody. And realistically, we all pretty much got bamboozled again. The only one games that, for the most part, they've ported that aren't complete junk are maybe like Speed Racer from the N64, where it came over to Switch and wasn't that terrible. And you got a couple other little Star Wars games here and there that the ports were okay, but what are they doing besides repackaging and selling me something on a newer generation of hardware? Which I am happy that that software or that game isn't just dying and completely unplayable anymore, but... I'm buying repackaged junk from them, and most of the time it's buggy and it's a disaster. So I think this is going to happen again. Not only do I think this is going to happen again, their hands that are in the Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic remake that Sony's got under lock and key, nobody knows what's going on, their hands in that has to be one of the scariest things you can possibly think of. If you are a Knights of the Old Republic fan, if you are a Star Wars fan, if you think that game is going to be amazing like, the, like it could be, Aspire having anything to do with it in any way, shape, or form is utter doom for that game. And I want somebody, Team Ninja, or somebody who isn't god-awful to take over that and turn it into what it can truly be, because it is such an awesome IP. But with that being said, let me know what you guys think of the disaster in the comment section down below, what you think of this video. Make sure to check out the Ivanki Docs description, or links in the description down below. And what was your experience with the Battlefront 2 or the Battlefront Collector's Edition? And we will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.